the ultimate justification for the humanities is that it is the study and the art of what it means to be human. Uh, what does it mean to be a thinking person? What does it mean to be a person who appreciates and yearns for the beautiful things in life, for the things that make us feel connected? And so my career as a writer has been learning how, all the different ways that you approach this huge problem of trying to capture as much as you can about the human condition uh, on one page, in one paragraph, in one chapter, in one book. I didn't know that writing was a profession that you could have, and it wasn't really until I got to college at UC Santa Cruz that I started getting props as a writer, and people told me that uh, I could write well. And uh, it wasn't until I was uh, in San Francisco uh, working at a community newspaper that I became a professional writer. Writing and being a reporter is about empathy. It's about listening to somebody and understanding things from their point of view and then putting yourself in their shoes when you tell their story. And so in a certain sense, you become the people that you interview. I wrote a lot about homelessness. Um, I wrote a lot about South Los Angeles and its unique problems and how it was changing. I had written a lot about police abuse. I had been to the homes of many families whose sons had been shot by the police. And so it didn't really come as much as a surprise what happened in 1992. And when it actually began to happen, when you saw a huge chunk of the city begin to burn on that particular day, the second day of the riots. And so it was a feeling that you were seeing history and also that you were seeing something that in a certain sense was kind of useless and violent and destructive. I mean, by definition, you know, to see so much of the city go up in smoke. But at the same time, to see this expression of community anger, it was an important moment in the city's history.